How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to the Sandman. Though, uh... So what, we're gonna use the wand on the Sandman? Is that what's going on here? So last time, if you guys missed it, we made a wand. Out of something that if it touches you, it turns you into... Something. I don't even remember what it is, but, uh... Hi. Hi. S send me. Hi. What? Oh, what just happened? He seemed really mad let me take a wild guess because this is a horror game I guy and I go after him don't I okay Sandman Sandman Hey, that hurt. What's wrong? You got a big lump on your head. I mean, not your horn. Sandman beat me up. He took the pink jewel after you gave it to me and everything. Oh. Uh, wait, what? Hold on. Sandman, that wasn't your jewel. Oh boy. Silence for a moment. I just want to check to make sure I'm doing the right thing here. Okay, I, I don't get it. Well, he's not there anymore. I'm literally checking every single room. Help, help, but what happened? Statue fell, I can't move, heavy, heavy. Can I, like, pick it up or something? I don't want to... Uh... Oh. So what's with these jewels? Why... Hole in the floor, you see a ladder. I don't trust that ladder. Yeah, sure, let's go. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh. Oh, I thought that was like water or something. Nope, that's like. There's something on the ground. Got a key to somewhere. Okay. We don't know where though, apparently. The guide does, but I'm gonna try to not use that, maybe. Hello, dust. 
D -d dust, dust, can I... Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning underground two cents on board. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what, I'm gonna use the guide. I don't wanna be roaming around for too long. Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Tooth? What? What are you doing here? Are you actually wearing something? Tooth Fairy, Nixie, why are you two here? Hey, Sophie. Oh, hey, Sophie. We're just sitting down for tea. Isn't this Sandman's house? Can you just come inside like that? Can't you come and go as you please? Sandman's house is a place for everyone to gather. It's comfy. Such great tea, too. Tea with Nixie's a bore. But dwarf's not here. Guess the tea's good enough that I can tolerate an old water wench. Wow. Say what, you toothless grandpa? Uh-oh. Same to you. I don't want to drink tea with a coot. Is there no choice with a, no handsome men around? Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, finally a smile, Sophie. Much cuter like that, you know? Uh, oh, really? Oh, yes. So much better than that irritated look you've had. Thanks. Fairy seem pretty busy with work. From what I hear, you seem to have fun. I'm kind of jealous. You bet it's you bet it's fun. Rotten teeth, sure, but I don't mind it. I know, because you got it. Oh, yes. I do visit the human world at times. But this world's a clear winner for me, for fun. <laughs> mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about staying here? Well, not much fun if you go back, will you? Uh... -huh. I don't know why I half closed my freaking computer. Can I please see what's going on on mine? Actually. Alright, I just wanted to make sure I was recording. But I also want to make sure I know what time we're at, so. Well, good luck to you, Sophie. We'll be here watching how things go. Hope it goes the way you want it. Uh, <laughs> please don't put me to sleep again. Oh. Well, that door's locked this time. Okay. Okay. Well, that wasn't right. I don't... So, I'm looking for that storage room, but I keep forgetting where it is. Like the smart boy I am. Oh, gosh. That's... Oh. That's damaging to my brain hole, man. like a no where is the freaking storage room is that this room no it wouldn't be this room because it's saying it's south of it oh my god my brain oh wait there's one door I can think of one door that I haven't been to yet That door. It's not here. This door. Well, that didn't work. Never mind.
That one, right? There are literally four rooms left. That's not it. That's not it. Am I missing a room? And I just went through the entire building. What am I missing? Hold on. Okay, I need to move my thing. That makes sense. Let's see. Guide, what do you say? Go to the world map room south of medicine. There's a hole in the bottom left. Oh, okay, I was just in there. Unlocks the door in the statue. Oh. Oh. Well, poop. Excuse me, can I come to fool? I gotta go back. Again. We're going back and forth. Look, I just like to pace, okay? Shut up. Like, look at me. I'm doing it right now. This is, this is just gonna be the next like five minutes for me. Actually, that is not far off my real life. <laughs> See, I just, we're just pacing here. <laughs> uh, so not that door. What the hell is in that room though? I know what we're talking about, but first, there are some ingredients I know I need. Let me see if I can find them. Cry gel. I'll put a cry gel. Put the bottle. Pick up a snore of fruit. Oh. Oh, is that what that? I'm an idiot. All right, we got some exploring to do. Got some pacing to do. Ah, time to go back where we were, and then we'll come back to this point again, only to go back again. <laughs> this is the pacing episode. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> This is the cry gel, I'm assuming. Uh. Okay. A weird blue liquid creeps along the floor. That's the cry gel. Yeah. I could take some liquid in this bottle. Sorry, guy. I'll just take a little. <laughs> Sorry. Did that hurt? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I already took some of that. Way ahead of time. Without really realizing. Well, half realizing that it was like way ahead of time, but. Can I cut the tail with this glass shard? Yeah, probably. Yeah, let's do it. And I probably don't have the glass shard anymore, do I? A lot of horror games do that. Yep, no more glass shard. <laughs> I kind of figured. It's very weird how horror. Okay, do I have everything? Um. Checking the list. We just got the cry gel and the kettle is a tail. Which we need both of those. Um, we have the snore flora fruit. So, is there anything else? Snore key unlocked. Yeah, I know. Collect sleeping sand ingredients from the first, second floor areas. Piece of cry gel. Empty bottle. Got it. Snore fruit. Got that. And lizard, cat or lizard tail. Okay, we're good. Let's go. 
put out the Emerald Flames after you. We can actually read it this time. But only because someone told us what it says. Ah, oh, we're pacing again. Just contemplating whether we should continue on. <laughs> I'm seriously not intentionally doing that, though. It just makes for a good joke on myself. That's horrible, by the way. I wish I could help this poor fella. What to do, what to do, what to do. This is backwards pacing, because see, I'm kind of going more backwards. Than... And now it's forwards pacing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so... I need to go where that statue was. So, keep going, 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 keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Not that room. This room. Nope, 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 my buddy, buddy, buddy. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't do that. Uh. Oh, this hurts my brain. Ow! Hi, Nixie. Hi, Tooth. Door open. Seems locked. Well, I've got the solution. Let's unlock it. Use the summer key. Apparently, it worked. All right. Well, I don't know what to do here, but I guess the gloves made of leather. Got leather gloves. Should probably be wearing those anyway. Cutting board and a knife. I can grind up the snow fruit with this. Cool. A button. Can I push that button? What was... What? Okay. Snore fruit is now powder. Oh, let's, I want to make sure I'm not skipping any. Okay, no. But somehow I did that right first. Large pot. It's full of water. Oh, crap. Is there a specific order I have to put these in? Is there? Snora, fruit, powder, and cry gel fluid. Then wait. Okay. Oh. What? Well, I died. Dang it! Well... I'll be right back. Ouch. Okay. So, saved it? Let's see. So, this is the one thing I missed. I double checked and of course, this is the one thing I missed. Sandman's memo said boil with red flame, but how can I get this flame over there? I know. I forgot to grab these. Now we can do it, I think. These gloves are thick, so maybe I can carry the candle. Huh? Even the flame isn't hot at all. I can't just carry the flame itself. Apparently, you can. You just did. That's very bubbly. I hope there's not a time limit here. Alright, let's grind the sand stuff. The sand stuff, yeah. That's not sand stuff. That's snore. Again, that sound. I, 
I, I need to configure on that sound. Hold on, give me a give me a couple paces of a seconds. Okay, I think we're good. So now that this is done, let's pot. Um so Snora fruit powder and cry gel fluid, right? That's the next thing. That's blue, and now it's yellow. Is this right? Um, 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 I, oh. Maybe I can use this to transfer the broth into the sand making machine. Sure. This must be the sand making machine. Okay, use the bowl. Please tell me that wasn't wrong. I don't want to blow up. A button. Could not push this. Not yet. Hold on. Save because I don't want to. I don't want to feel like a fool. Well, I'm gonna feel like a fool anyway. Thing. Okay, it's done. Now what do I do? Put the sleeping sand in the side of the. Okay. Is this sleeping sand? Put sleeping sand in the sack. Yay! That was something else. Go to flame room and raise the lever. Okay. I got an achievement. I didn't see what achievement it was, though. Hey, y'all. I'm Nothing suspicious here. Oh, God. I hate this room. Duh! Only because we're like at the nick of the end of the game is the only reason why I'm pro still progressing. Nope. So, hold on. I need to be able to figure out what I'm doing. Okay. okay. I'm gonna flame room and raise the lever. Wasn't that just... I kind of figured this was the room, but, uh... Is this the Admiral of Flame that Note mentioned? Maybe I can carry the flame over there with these gloves. Where am I carrying the flame? Got the Emerald Flame, apparently. It's very tiny now. So we go this way, and this room. Okay. That was smart. Is it still? Okay, it's still lit. They're lit.
I need some translation lenses, but I don't know. I missed something. Hold on. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. We are almost at the end, but I don't know what to do. Oh. Hold on, did I miss something? Okay, I'll be back in that room once I know what I'm missing. See you guys in a sec. I was right to wanting to help this guy. I'm just an idiot and don't know how. Just hold on a sec. I'll lift the statue with a stick. You'll be out soon, got it? Okay, hurry, hurry. Yeah. I'm out, I'm out. Thank you, Sophie, thank you. Are you hurt? I'm fine, I owe you, Sophie. Lifesaver, Sophie. I'll give you this good thing, as thanks for helping me. Wear these glasses and you can read anything. They're salmons, but lifesaver Sophie can have them. No. Oh. There we go, that's what I needed, thank you. It wasn't far from the room either, thank heavens for that. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, but nope. All right. Oh boy, time to read Salmon's diary, that's... <laughs> I've got big eyes, can't you see them? All right, what does it say? Oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy, I can't stand it. How many centuries have I gone without sleep? Oh no, is this a hint to say that I'm gonna be the next Sandman? That would make sense since, you know, it was for when the world was flat. When night fell all at one time, I could just work at night and sleep during the day. I was so pleased with my job then. Now the world is round and night is everywhere. Wherever it's day, it's always night on the opposite side. For a world where night is always falling, I cannot sleep. For if I sleep, then the humans will be sleepless. I feel bl Oh, that's why he put them all to sleep. Okay. So he could actually get some sleep. Makes sense. If only I could have even a wink of such happy sleep myself. I've had enough. I've become so tired. I'm so sleepy. I can't help it. I created a machine to stop time. I'll stop time in the human world and put them all to sleep. Forever. Yes. Forever. Yes, but only for a little while. Only for a little while. I completed the eternal sleep sand. I stopped time and sprinkled it on the human world. Most humans fall asleep, but it seems not all. Those with unease, anger, sorrow. How sad to be unable to sleep. I will create a lullaby for their sake. For the eternal sleep they deserve. Oh, they mean... He, he actually meant literal sleep, not... I'm glad he meant that and not death. Let's just leave it at that. That meddling, idiotic unicorn has brought a visitor to this world. Sophie Grunler. The girl with a smile like a goddess of the sun. Aww. She too is one of the sleepless humans. Even my creation lullaby was in ineffective. I must send her to sweet dreamland soon. Th that is my mission. Well, no wonder you were... No wonder he was being so kind. Now I feel bad for Sandman. But I get the feeling this is not going to end up in any other situation aside from a battle, isn't it? Made it here, huh, Sophie? What? Is that you, Lullaby? What happened to... No need to be... No need to be in that form anymore. Of course, I'm just a lullaby, 
so I don't have any form. Makes sense. Wow! It seems like something happened with you, Sophie. You were glaring at me before, but now you have a much kinder look. Realization can do that to you. I can relate to that one. Well, because you looked like David. Do you not hate me now? No, I, I, I don't. What about David? How should I know? Lullaby. So the Sandman was troubled at s and sleepless too? That's right. He's so serious. Doesn't know how to take a break. That's what led us to the current st situation. Aww. I feel so bad for him. How hard must that be? Sleepless for centuries because of humans? Fairies are hard workers. So the salmon can never sleep? He had to stay up and keep working? That's the real story right there. Lullaby. What do you think I should do? That's up to you, Sophie. No! I don't know what to do anymore. I don't want to sleep forever. But if I stop him, Sandman can't sleep. He'll still be suffering. Been there. That sucks. Not the exact situation, obviously, but that mindset. Oh, I know it all too well. Listen, Sophie, didn't your mother always tell you? Do what you want to do. I know what you want deep in your heart, but you have to realize it for yourself. What do you want? I have to stop the Sandman, but I know. Sandman was in the long corridor earlier. Go meet him. Think it over, Sophie. Think about what you want. Do I have to? <sighs> Fine. He was in the long corridor. Which long corridor? I really... <sighs> do I have to do this? Do I? Quite frankly, I really... I don't think this is right, is it? Ah, uh, there's too much going on. I am literally mentally pacing now. I don't... <sighs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what long corridor is being talked about. Oh, good gory. This is going to be the longest episode. Once again, like all of my playthroughs. Last episode, always the longest. Because you never know what... Like, we're near... We're too close to the end for me to end it. That's always the issue. That's why they're always long. Or, Give or take a couple of examples, but still. Once we get to the Sandman. Oh, I don't know. Can I just put the Sandman to sleep? Then, he'll get what he wants. He'll, we'll get a good end, right? Because we'll give him what he wants. And we'll be helping others in the process. So is that what the Sleeping Sand is for? Oh, and here. A letter. Huh? I can read this without the glasses. It's just plain English. To my dear Miss Grumler, I presume you are well? While we have passed each other many a time, unfortunately, it would appear we have been unable to understand each other. I have prepared a special sleeping sand for you. Surely with this sand, even you will be able to slumber. I shall be waiting at the top of the castle. I hope you will not run away. Stairs are very old and full of holes. 
So please take care not to hurt yourself, my dear. Uh, do I have to do this? Do I have to? Oh gosh. I don't know how that actually jump scared, but it did. Whoa. Ow. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh no. Okay, let's not be a dumb this time. And first of all, thank you. I got back a lot faster than when I started. I would hope. Oh gosh, you don't make this easy. Okay. Hi, Sandman. I'm not ready for this, but. Sandman. Hi. I don't understand what you're saying. It was hard not being able to sleep, right? I understand. I've been suffering the same way. Really, I'd want to put... I'd want to be put to sleep, too. I've wondered how good it would be to forget all the bad things and sleep. But I don't want to sleep forever. I don't... I want to wake up. Even if it might be a bad day. I'm sorry. Can't understand, Sandman. I'm sorry I can't understand, Sandman. This is the only thing I can do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, oh, gosh. I, oh, my God. It's like sand versus sand. Okay, okay. Item, sleeping sand. Use the sleeping sand. We'll give him what he wants. Go to sleep. You, we can tell you've been wanting that for freaking ever. Look at your eyes. That wasn't hard at all, actually. Good night, Sandman. You don't have to put up. You don't have to put up with it anymore. Take a nice rest. Hi, lullaby. Sophie. Hi. You put Sandman to sleep. I couldn't kill him. He put up with so much for humans. He just wanted to sleep. How long will he sleep? Who knows? He was up for centuries straight. Maybe he'll sleep for centuries too. I see. What is it, Sophie? Maybe it was all the effort. But I feel really sleepy now. Sophie! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's no good. I'm just too sleepy. If I fall asleep now, if I can't wake up, if I can't wake everyone up, will the humans die in their sleep? No, they won't die. Time is stopped for them. They'll just keep sleeping. That's good. Well, we all got what we wanted, apparently. If I, if I can't wait, if I can wake up, I won't just put up with the bad things. I'll get back at Reagan. 
and I'll tell Anne a thing or two. And Papa, I'll apologize to him. And also, I'll I'll try to be friends with David. Aww. I've s I'm sad I never even told him, but now we can be friends. I just want to have fun with him. Aww. I wonder if David thinks of me as his friend. Of course. You should know best how nice he is. There's so much I've wanted to do. I want to think about tomorrow, but I'm too sleepy to stay up. <laughs> what? Ma? Quiet, dear. Not another word. Wait. There's nothing to worry about. You don't have to fear any monsters in the closet. I'll be right here. Did you say your prayers before bed? But I haven't heard you say it yet. Sophie, say it for me. Okay. Mama. Bye, lullaby. You got what you wanted. It's a good thing this guy's a pacifist, <laughs> otherwise he would have woken up and killed us, I'm betting. Well, you got some nice rest, man. I don't want to see the bad ends after seeing that. I could, but I really don't want to. Morning? Yep, it's morning. Am I back? Yep. Sandman brought you back. Was it all a dream? Nope. <laughs> That would have been the most interesting dream ever. Okay, might as well put these on. And let's go. Hey, Papa. Weren't you staying at work? Morning, Sophie. I was working, but I fell asleep. She got back now. Hmm. Wait, Sophie. Is there something you want to tell me? What? What was that call from the school about? I've never gotten this call from Sister Mary before. What in the world happened? You didn't do something bad, did you? Wait, what? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Listen, Sophie, I... I said I don't know! Whoa! And we're back to square one. You didn't do anything wrong. Why did you get called? Just think about it. 
Not like you would know. That's right, you wouldn't know. Because you never pay attention to me. Just work, work, work. Never spending time with me. When was the last time we ate together? When did you last say goodnight or good morning? You never even done that for me. I, I'm not a good kid. Because my selfishness made you made you push yourself again. Oh god. Sophie! Well, we're back to square one. Great. Why are we back at square one again? Oh no, that's not good, Sophie. Your hair's all red. Did you punch her? Oh, right. I didn't know someone was up. That actually scared me. Huh. Oh, right. That's just the regular color. Silly me. Punch her. Is your house built on a cliff or what, Reagan? Huh? Just look at that hair. It's like you got in a tornado and the tornado won. <laughs> okay, that was a good one, actually. But if you live on a windy cliff, that might explain a few things. Like, what a blowhard you are. What are you girls laughing at? What's gotten into you? It's gotten into you. I'm the only one you can ever show off in front of. You've always been Regan the blubbering crybaby. Y you! Uh oh. Wait, oh my god. Jeez. My word! What happened here? Miss Grunler, Miss Blumberg, coming to my room this instant. You first, Miss Grunler. Oh, for the love of Pete. I quit being your sandbag. If you make fun of me, I'll pay it back a hundredfold. And nobody's making fun of my mom's red hair. I decided I'll fix my own problems. I'll do what I can to do about the things I don't like. How about you do the same? If you swear to never bully me again, I'll gladly talk it out with you. Like old times. <sighs> My gosh. Well, that took a dark sh turn. Sophie! Why? Why did you do that? That it's so mean to Regan. Does it matter to you, Anne? I'm the one being teased. I I do care, Sophie. Then why did you only ever watch? You said you were worried, but you just stayed quiet. You were just glad it meant that you wouldn't be a target, weren't you? N no! I, I I wanted to help, but Liar! Just tell the truth. Say you were too scared. You didn't even let her finish. I'm betting that's what she was going to say. Sophie! I'm sorry. I was the one who told you that. That I was fine. So you shouldn't worry. Yeah, but if anybody's smart, they would know that I'm fine never means I'm fine. I really did want someone to help, but I put up with it so you wouldn't worry. Like you might not be my friend. So I was the liar. But I'm not doing that anymore. I won't let Regan get the better of me. I'll send her insults back and answer if she picks a fight. Might not like that, but it's okay with you. I'd like us to stay friends.
Oh boy. There's a lot going on. This is like 20 minutes of stuff so far. I'm disappointed in you, Miss Grimler. A scuffle in the middle of the classroom? As a young lady, you should be ashamed. Well, I don't know what happened myself. Such violent behavior is so unbefitting. Oh my god. No. Screw you. No. It's like what the, a little kid would do. Do you remember the passage from Job at my sermon? Enduring suffering heightens our merit. Hardship is no reason for, to use force. I'm no saint. Why is that? I can just grin and bear it, but does it mean I'll be repaid? Greater merit. Am I really supposed to just put up with all my hardship for that? Not even. Screw putting up with the bad things to be called a saint. I don't want to be a saint. I just want to be human. Dang. It's far more important to be able to sleep at night. To do everything I can day by day. And to sleep looking forward to tomorrow. Are you talking back to me, Miss Grundler? Do you think it right to childishly do as you please? Do you think God would approve? I mean, knowing stuff like that, I would say, yeah, probably. Why can't you be a child? And why can't you be a child? What was it? The kingdom of heaven belongs to those such as these? <laughs> Do not raise such quibbles with me. What I am saying is that your attitude is... I don't mind if God doesn't care for me. Because ever since I was little, I know I've had someone watching over me. I will be telling your father about this. Maybe busy with work, but this I cannot overlook. I'm going to have a long talk with him. I doubt she cares. Do what you will, sister. But he won't be available today. I have important, I have important business with him. Miss Grundler! She won't be coming back, so it don't matter. Papa, did you not go to work? I took the day off. I see. Sophie. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not realizing how you felt. That's kind of what happens when you spend no time with someone, dude. I, I thought you hated me. You're in high school now, and... I wanted to be close, but I thought you'd be annoyed. <laughs> That's such a stupid stereotype. I'm busy at work, true, but I convinced myself. If I just kept working, you could be happy. But I guess I was misguided. I didn't know how lonely you felt. I am truly sorry, Sophie. C can you forgive your papa? This is gonna make me cry. <laughs> I'll... I'll be praying for the day I can. Sophie. And she beat me to it. Aww. I'm sorry for the awful things I did. I love you, Papa. I was scared to sleep in an empty house. I worried over things that were hi hiding in the closet, like I was a little kid. I don't want to be alone. Papa, stay with me. Of course, Sophie. You're my precious daughter. Today's the end of a long, cold war between us. How about we go out for something to eat, Sophie? 
Sorry, Papa. Hold that thought. There's somewhere else I want to go. David? Yeah. Oh, jeez. What did you do? I fell asleep watching TV at your place, so my neck's really sore. No wonder your neck looked crooked. Really? David! Hey Sophie, long time no see. Oh right, I should introduce you. This is Shirley, my fiance. Nice to meet you, Sophie. Heard about you from David. Hi Shirley, nice to meet you too. Huh, you seem pretty happy. Something good happen? Well, there's a lot I want to talk about. A lot happened and a lot changed. With Anne, Regan, Papa, and also the Sandman. Sandman? Feels like I've heard of that. Was it? He's a fairy, David. A sleeping fairy. He uses his sand to put people to sleep. Well, that sounds like lots of fun, Sophie. We're going out to dinner, so do you want to come? You can tell me about. You can tell me all about it. Yeah, that sounds great. Sure, let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm assuming this is the good end. It makes me wonder what would have happened in the bad end, but we're already at 57 minutes. So ends the tale of the Sandman. Oh! Made up? Of course it isn't. You remember it, don't you? Though you were asleep, you remember a night that felt like eternity. That night was the night you slept. While the Sandman stopped time. Now close your little eyes. I'll tell you another story tomorrow. Good night, my little dear. Happy end one. Don't. There are multiple happy endings. There are multiple happy endings? I'm not really going to work on trying to get every single ending because that would take so freaking long. <sighs> Definitely a long episode. Three times the length that's normal. Well, two and a half. We'll go with that. Two and a half longer than normal. I'm tempted to see what would have happened had we killed the Sandman. Um, it'll be a much shorter episode just to show that one little aspect off, but I'll go ahead and do that in the next episode, which will be my last episode of this series, because I don't want to go through every single bad end. I think I found a couple of them unintentionally, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe some of the deaths were bad ends. I have no idea. But in any case, we'll go ahead and play through, as always stated, I will at least play through these credits and start talking about the game while it's going through, because, you know, credit where it's, where it's due. Dang, this is isn't this like a lot more than the than the Crooked Man? I think there were a, there were a lot more people involved in making this than the, in the Crooked Man. I think. Dang, that is really good. That is so awesome. And so the next time, next episode will be the final episode of this series, but the next game in this series I believe is the boogeyman congratulations on beating the sandman and thank you for playing to those who also played the crooked man you have my additional thanks you're welcome that was those were really fun experiences not gonna lie this game differed in every way from its predecessor apologies to those who were expecting a TCM like story but I've been planning this since starting the last game I'm very glad to have finished it. 
It was good. It was really good. I actually liked the differences. The Something Man series currently has four games in it. The story and mood differ depending on the man. Oh. So I hope people will try the other. That's good. That's good to know. That is really good to know. So don't expect what happened prior. That is that is very very good to know. Again, congratulations and thank you for playing. Thank you for making. That was really fun. Not even gonna lie, I I thoroughly enjoyed that. Wait, I'm the. Huh? This bed leads to a bonus scenario where you can see the story from a different perspective. Beat it to get some extras, such as character bias. It should it should take about an hour to go through. Recommended for those who want all the plot. Wait, what? There's more. There's more? How much of the plot is missing? Can I say No, hold on. Never mind. Move outward. Save. Um. We'll save here, and maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Um. You know what, this is going to be extremely ex You know what, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. We'll start... I guess the Sandman's going to be much longer than I expected. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. Okay, but yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, we'll continue on to see what happens in that one particular... If you kill the Sandman. Next time. And we'll probably start up this scenario as well. But again, for now, I am going to leave this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, episode of The Sandman. If you liked it, push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. Me. <laughs> if you really like to consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, got a suggestion for any horror games you'd like me to do? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out one I've done prior to this game, I'll link to one across my head here. This game, however, will be in the top right hand corner. In the meantime, I'm out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye!